Hello, prestige heads, and welcome to American Prestige. I'm Danny Bessner, here as always with my friend and comrade, Derek Davison. And we're very excited to welcome to the podcast someone who I've been reading for years, listening to for years, and that is Mark Ames. Mark, as you probably know, is co-host of Radio War Nerd, the podcast. Mark, thanks so much for joining us, man. Thanks for having me on. I'm honored to be here. <laughs> oh, it's great, truly great our yeah. it's truly yeah. our honor. Thank you so much. Um, I guess we should start with um, your analysis or your analysis of the analysis uh, <laughs> of what happened uh, in Russia this past weekend, which is Yevgeny Prigozhin's march on Moscow. I guess something along those lines. Yeah the um, the the mutiny on the M4. Um, it's. It was exciting as hell. I mean, let's be honest, like it, because there was so much at stake, um, you know, this uh, violent uh, hot dog salesman with 50,000 convict troops, you know, <laughs> could have taken over the world's largest nuclear arsenal. I mean, in theory, um, was it actually a coup attempt? I mean, it, it could have turned into that uh, had it not been defused, but I don't think it's quite right to call it a, a coup uh, attempt because... He wasn't, uh, Prigozhin has been issuing a series of increasingly rage-filled and hysterical videos on Telegram for months, for months now. He's been calling out, you know, the senior command and then going after them by name, um, never after Putin. <clears throat> and it's just gotten, as the Bakhmut battle was winding down, I mean, he was realizing, it's pretty clear now, he was realizing that um, well, his gig was going to be up. Uh, Wagner was used uh, by the military to turn Bakhmut into a meat grinder using, um, you know, quote unquote, expendable Russians. Um, that is to say convicts, largely convicts, to kill as many non-expendable Ukrainians as possible. And, and it was, in a really grim way, fairly successful. Um, you know, last year, uh, I saw this study last year, I think the average, uh, or sort of the typical Russians who was killed in the Ukrainian war was a 21 year old male, um, professional contractor serviceman. <clears throat> and the typical, uh, Russian who's been killed this year in the war is a 34 year old ex convict. They don't, um, uh, convicts are not going to dead convicts are not going to create the sort of societal um, anger, disillusionment, you know, that... Uh, I mean, look at 